Hi guys, and welcome to the Ace Tanker in the Sherman 3, the Tier 5 British medium tank, although technically it's an American tank, it's a Lend-Lease tank. But uh, yeah, this is my first Ace Tanker and only Ace Tanker in the Sherman 3. This tank and I haven't been getting along, I haven't enjoyed this tank very much, um, and I've almost ground to the Sherman Firefly. I'm, in fact, I'm only about, uh, I think about 8,000 XP away from the Sherman Firefly, uh, but I played a, quite a few games in the Sherman 3 before getting this ace tanker and I haven't been enjoying the tank. Um, I think the armor hasn't worked and I think that the matchmaking has been absolutely terrible. It seems that every time I play the Sherman 3 I get into a tier 7 game. So I haven't really been enjoying the tank as much as for example the Panzer 4H which uh, I've got a video coming to the channel soon in the Panzer 4H showing how effective that tank can be even when it's bottom tier in a tier 7 game. I haven't found the Sherman 3 to be as effective even though it's a very very similar tank. It's got similar top speed, it's got a, I'm using the derp gun so it's very very similar to the Panzer 4H but I just find the Panzer 4H performs better when it's bottom tier and the Sherman 3 sucks when it's bottom tier. Uh, so I've been quite unlucky with the matchmaking but not in this game. I finally got a dream matchup in the Sherman 3. Look at this matchup. I am I'm not only top tier, but there are two tier 5s on either side. The rest of the tanks on the enemy team, or our team, are basically tier 4s and tier 3s. So, uh, so for some reason our team have got five or four tier 5s, the enemy team only got two. Uh, lots of tier 3s, lots, a couple of tier 2s, very unlucky tier 2s who uh, failed platooned on the enemy team. Uh, but basically, yeah, this is an absolutely dream matchup for the Sherman 3, because the derp gun I don't find it's as good as it is on the uh, Panzer IV H, but against this lineup, the Derp gun's going to be absolutely amazing. And my armor, even though it absolutely sucks in Tier Six and Tier Seven games, is actually going to be quite good in this matchup. Now, that's not to say there aren't a lot of tanks on the enemy team who can pen me. In fact, there are even Tier Threes on the enemy team who can pen me with yeah, next to no problems if they get to my sides and rear. But this is a really, really nice matchup for the Sherman Three. So uh, let's just get going. And um, as I say, it's the one and only ace tanker I've picked up in the Sherman 3 so far. So this is a really good game, but don't let this color your opinion of the tank. This is dream matchmaking, and the tank does not perform this well in regular games. Um, I've had a lot of really, really bad games on this tank, and a lot of very average games. This is probably one of the best games I've had, and it's simply down to really, really, really generous matchmaking. So, uh, as you can see, the tank is not terrible. I mean, I'm doing 46, 47 kilometers an hour along here, and I'm going to be pushing the 1 2 lines. And there is nothing on the enemy team I'm fearing other than maybe the LEFH 18B2 if he decides to start focus firing me. But uh, we're moving down. I've got a Chihan, a PZ3A in support. But I'm not planning to stop for anything. I mean, I'm top tier, and the only tier 5s on the enemy team are arty, so I'm not going to stop. I've got my HE loaded. Again, this is a tank I don't use uh, premium ammo on, but uh, HE, 53mm of penetration, 410 alpha damage. So in this matchup, I don't need to use premium ammo. And first victim. And I don't even fully aim. Auto aim, shot on the move. Take out the PZ-3A, but I need to get into cover. Take a shot from the B1, but I need to get into cover from RT. So, uh, moving up, gonna shoot this B1. And a T15 charges around the corner, and another one hit kill. So, uh, unfortunately, my ammo rack was damaged, um, so uh, T15 did do something. He used my repair kit, but uh, I'm angled against this B1 now. And as you can see, orange reticule, green reticule on the turret, but unfortunately I got a low penetrating roll and uh, failed to kill him. So he's going to get a shot into me, but I'm angled, I bounce, and we get to finish him off for kill number three. Now, there are a lot of TDs on the enemy team, and those TDs have not been spotted, so... I'm kind of a little bit hesitant about coming around this corner, but there's an M5 Stewart, and again, 340 health. Auto aim and derp. There's kill number four. Uh, I'm not proud of this game. It was a lot of fun to play, but uh, you never get matchmaking like this. But uh, in the Sherman 3, very, very rarely. Out of the 20 or 30 games, I don't even know if I've played 30. I've definitely played 20 games in this tank. 
Um, I don't think I've um, had matchmaking as good as this. Now, as I say, there are a lot of TDs and most of them have not been spotted, so they're all sitting up in the Artie's position. So that's why I decided to go south. I didn't want to come around that corner. Now, there are tanks here. I can move up, but I need to be careful because of those TDs. Oh, and a PZ-35T and fully aimed. Don't want to miss this. And there we go. There's kill number five. And yes, indeed, Electos and Martyrs sitting up where Artie normally sit up. Now, our team have advanced down the 9-0 line, so I know enemy Artie are focused there. But uh, I just need to focus on these TDs. And I know that the Electo was up in a bush here. And I wait and I spot him and I'm having trouble getting my gun on target. Enemy and that's the first time my gun has let me down. The shot goes low, tracks the Electo. But we've got a 7.9 second reload. We take him out for kill number 6. So there's a gorilla up to my right. And I thought the T-40 was coming around the corner. So therefore I ignored the gorilla. And I could have had more damage. But anyway, T-40 is on the other side of the uh, rocks. So we take out the gorilla. Kill number seven, 1,600, 1,600 damage. Oh, this was such a fun game, but such a matchup. You gotta feel sorry for the enemy team when this happens. Um, and yeah, I, it was a big decision for me whether or not to use the derp gun to grind out the Sherman Firefly or whether to get the 76 millimeter, which is the final gun. Now, again, two tanks left on the enemy team. I want my eight kills, so I get in close. And of course, because I got in close to get the kill, unfortunately, that meant that the T-40 was waiting in ambush. He puts a shot into me. Now, I didn't actually notice at this time what gun the T-40 was using. If the T-40 is using the howitzer and he's using premium ammo, I'm a one-hit kill. So I've got to be quite cautious here. I didn't see what gun he was using, and I didn't look at my hit log to see that he was firing AP. So I probably could have taken a hit here. This was a mistake by me. I probably could have gone around the corner taken a hit. But uh, on the other hand, not sure if he was just firing AP in his howitzer or uh, if he had a howitzer equipped on the tank. But I'm fine because we've got a PC-3 moving up the hill. And uh, I'm just wondering where this guy is. RT fires. I'm being told he drove off, but uh, a tree fell in case you guys didn't notice. So I know that he's still there. And I wait for the PZ-3 to spot him. I wait for the T-40 to engage the PZ-3. And I miss my shot. He's only on 154 health. And I want kill number 9. Don't have much to shoot at. Aim, aim, aim fully. And there we go. There's kill number 9. <laughs> Oh, what a dream matchup in the Sherman 3. And um, yeah, that's probably the best game I've played in it. And it was all down to matchmaking. So this has been completely unintentional. But when I started putting up videos this week, the first video was the FV4202. Then we had an AT-15A and a Black Prince uh, replay. And uh, now it's the Sherman 3. So even though it wasn't intentional, I've just realized this is kind of like a British week. So I'm actually going to continue with British tanks for the rest of this week, um, maybe for another two or three videos. But uh, that was the Sherman 3 ace tanker in an absolutely dream matchup. And it's the only ace tanker I've picked up on the tank. And I am at the moment about 4,000, 2,000 to 4,000 XP, can't remember, away from the uh, Sherman Firefly. So uh, I'm not going to be keeping this. So I'm going to be selling it even after a game like that. Uh, I'm going to be selling this tank and uh, looking forward to getting out of it because this is a rare occasion. I really don't like the Sherman 3. Uh, but we ended up picking up the Ace. Uh, Radley Walters, a high caliber, the automatic top gun. And we picked up a Naden's Medal. Awarded to a player who destroyed all enemy light tanks in battle. At least three. And uh, look how many light tanks were on the enemy team. I managed to somehow destroy them all. Uh, but yeah, really, really nice game of the Sherman 3. But don't let this game fool you. The tank, I don't think, is very, very good. Uh, 1190. 24 XP, almost 1200 XP, almost 2000 damage, 9 kills, and as I say, dream matchup. Nothing to be proud of, but it was a really, really fun game. I fired 13 and I hit 12, so I only missed one shot on that T40 at the end. That was kind of annoying, but at least I killed him. And uh, we ended up spotting 4, damaging 9, destroying 9. We basically killed everything we saw. So zero assistance damage. No one else got a chance to get 
get any shots into the tanks we were spotting or damaging. I also managed to do 54 base defense or cap points and uh, 34,000, almost 35,000 credits with a premium account. Uh, yeah, so nice money making in a very good game, but that doesn't happen very often in this tank. 1791 XP on a times two left me on 3,600 XP. Yeah, Sherman 3, it's got aced now and thankfully we aced it before unlocking the firefly so all the pressure is off as soon as i get back to world of tanks and start playing some more we'll unlock the firefly and i'll be selling the sherman 3 pretty much straight away but um it can be fun when you're top tier but uh i find the tank really does suffer when it's not top tier and uh thank you guys for watching i'll see you next time